Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Wesley Forbes here with yet another video. I'm starting down here in the sump. Got something to show you guys. Yes, yes, you've seen it here. I have full control of all of my equipment that's connected to the apex now at the palm of my hands. This is the new app that they put on there strictly from Neptune Systems for the iPad and iPod and iPhone so got it all hooked up and let me tell you guys something if not for my buddy I would not have been able to do this there was so much computer knowledge that one would have to have to get this system set up so that you can have a network connection for one thing then you have to um, do the wireless thing and then you have to get an account with um, gmx.com then you have to get this IP no IP address uh, in order for you to be able to have it so that anywhere in the world you are you'll be able to go into your apex and uh, monitor and control it it took a lot it, let me just say if it was me I would not have been able to do it and if you just open up your apex box and they give you just a general thing they don't even tell you all the knowledge and the stuff that you're gonna have to use I hear that there's some kind of um, unofficial apex setup uh, and even with that you should have some type of computer knowledge of IP addresses um, in uh, DNS whatever I just did not even know what I was talking about and without him it would not have been done so um, let's take a closer look at some of these things that are going on here let's get down here on the ground as you see there it is in the back I have it um, on the wall behind my uh, tank since it has an open back and I have pretty much everything that I need on here as you can see that some of these things are labeled all of them are labeled by the way but um, those are just the ones that you can see uh, let's see if I can show you here is where the probes are they're in on a um, magnetic probe holder okay so we got that and then we also have attached here are two dosing pumps for my my two part and I just drilled holes into the tops of the uh, these are the 32 ounce and then I have the full gallon ones and I might consider just doing it in the gallon but for now that's what they're in and the line goes over here and it goes and it drips in here and they're all set up now so I do not have to manually all at one time add it myself it um it drips in there throughout the day and so I'm hoping that that's going to do a lot for the stability of the tank right now my auto top off just came on and just went off and that by the way is not controlled by the apex I have that standalone 
as well as my Vortec pumps are standalone because they don't need to be in the Apex because they have their own controller as well as my Radeon lights are not hooked up to the Apex controller so I have a, a few empty slots or outlets in there so as my system grows and if I want to do different things with it I can do so um, I'm still waiting on I ordered a bio pellet reactor and it's gonna sit in this area right here because it is external um, but when I put it on there it had several leaks coming out of it so I got in touch with the person and they are uh, in the process of making me another one and they're gonna send it out so um, you know I have my pellets soaking and they're still in the old one and I'm gonna see what can be done about that um, for the interim before I get the new one but the purpose of this video was to talk about the apex I am very happy about it things seem to be working very well with it let me go ahead and um, I'm gonna turn off the light because I want to show you guys the the head unit and at a touch of a button if you know what you're doing and if you hit the right thing shuts it off for you as well as everything else that might be needed here is let me just give you a shot of the tank while we're looking at it it's everything's just really coming on right now but um there's the control there's the display temperature 77.6 and by the way something else that I did not know the um, pH probe needs to be calibrated and you have to buy uh, calibration fluid and so this is without it being calibrated I don't know I haven't tested it with my test kit to see how close it is right now but that's the reading that it had that is reading right now and temperature 77.6 which is pretty good we have the um, all the windows and, and stuff open in the house right now so it is um, pretty chilly in here trying to air it out and we're doing some cleaning today so but um that's about it guys I'm really loving this thing and I hope that it's going to add a lot of stability and a lot less work on my part when it comes to controlling the tank. Wesley Forbes, signing out.